everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York, and it rained again, so the highway probably sounds will happen again. The road is wet, the grass is wet, but you know, I had the kids here and they got to play even though it had rained. It had rained quite hard. In fact, I think they saw a little rainbow. They were looking outside and they saw the rainbow. They were playing on the porch. They were able to take the scooters and the little um, big wheel bike that's now kind of old. Broken. It's actually broken. The wheel is starting to break. It's an old, old, old big wheel. Well, anyways, they were having fun riding on the porch and they were doing the gazebo was their roundabout. And then they were talking about how the roundabouts in town, there's one in a town near us and then there's another one that's going to be going in. And apparently people are talking about how difficult it's going to make it, but you know, we'll never know until it's really in what it's going to be. Then I watched a, a video with a motorcyclist, Christopher, I don't know what his channel's name is, but he did a little um, video of riding around in the areas that are near him and it was really interesting to see because his areas are my areas and I thought if he went a little further he could pass my house but he didn't pass my house. He went a different route and he showed the college that he went to and he showed Marmaduke statue and he showed um, the the ag, what was it, the the Welch, the new building there, what's that called? Twenty-one bricks. Pardon me? Twenty-one bricks. He showed that, but that's the that's the drinking area. The other one where the agricultural people put up the thing that used to be in Fredonia. Oh, he did? Yeah, he Talk showed that. He there. showed, yeah, he showed that. The Cornell. Cornell. Uh, building. Experiment st experimental station. Okay. I will repeat what he just said in case you couldn't hear. It was the Cornell Experimental Station. And he also went past 21 bricks with the elephant. It was, And then he went down to Point Gratiot and he showed the Lake Erie. And it was, it was really very interesting to see the um, area through somebody else's lens. It shows that it, actually it's a pretty area. <laughs> you don't realize how pretty you have it till somebody else is showing it. But anyways, that was um, what I watched today. And I also got some mail today. I want to thank um, Granny B. She sent me she sent me some seeds, some spaghetti squash seeds, and um, she hopes that I have an abundant harvest which I'm sure I will have an abundant harvest. I think I'm a little late to be planting them this year. I will plant them next year. Oh, and she put in, how cute, I hadn't opened it yet. Um, she put in her um, her little bee. Oh, look at it. I have Granny Bee's sticker. I have a sticker from Granny Bee. Oh, Granny Bee, thank you very much. And she sent me this, um, her business card, like, Card. How nifty, neat. Thank you so much, Granny B. And I will put her link in the description of my video. And let me see if I I've got her right here. I can show you what her page. She's got a she's got a channel. I'll do it this way. This is Granny B's channel. Thank you, Granny B. And I want to tell you all, those three chickens that we think are roosters, that I thought was roosters and my brother thought maybe they were hens, one of them crowed today. Only one so far. Let's hope nobody else crows. And it was the white one that crowed. He, he did a, ur, 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 like that. They're kind of, it's a kind of a dumb crow right now, but it will get better as he gets older. But I'm surprised he crowed. Um, so I've got at least one rooster out of that batch. Let's hope that's the only rooster I have. And, um, I think that was it for today. I can't think of anything else. I had the kids here all day, so I'm kind of, kind of whooped. Um, it's a little bit tiring. I've used, I brought the buggy down and the walker and all my toys for the baby to, and my was, little what chair. What was the age range? Oh, the age range. It was, um, nine months to 
Brianna. 11. 11 years old was Brianna. Nine months to 11 and there was four children. And um, Brianna was the oldest. And then her brother was three years younger than that. And then the other little boy was three years younger than that. And then the nine month old. So it was, they were, um, it, was a, it was a busy day. And they had, a, they had a really good time, even though the rain came. So that was that. Okay. Well, we'll talk again to you tomorrow. You have a great night. Bye-bye.